right. Uh, who else did the recap for last week? We continued on our lead to find Zongold, Graven's brother. Made it to this seaside cliff prison where Yin Yin <clears throat> decided to infiltrate in his own methodology. Starting a fight yep. where we won with relatively unharmed, but still harmed nonetheless. I have issues with a door. And then as we were exploring, we hear laughter in the distance and Yan Yan decides to approach doing his normal method of tactics and yep. apparently has started a fight because of what he said. Yes. That is all true. Yeah, it's all pretty correct. And so we'll uh, pick up at the top of this combat turn. <laughs> Uh, just FYI, I had to re-roll because I accidentally deleted my token, so I'm at the bottom of the turn order. Yeah. Not anymore. I feel like we should all just re-roll. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can re-roll. The NPCs will not. I am not re-rolling. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll start with Archer Guy. Just, just straight up. Oh, I need to get my dice first. Um, do I have a clear line of sight on... Nope. I can only hear I what's mean, going you on. Probably, you would have probably heard me get hit by this dude. <laughs> you're what? Uh, you're only 40 feet away from me. Yeah, I'm about 40 <laughs> feet away. I don't have, But I don't have a clear line of sight, so I have. it's basically I hear the sounds of this. Yeah, you heard the sound of me getting punched. Well, it said Archer Dude, so I think you get Well, shot. no, the... This dude punched me first. At the end of last week. Oh. The orc did, yeah. Can, can you hear a punch from that far oh, away? Oh, from 40 feet? Yeah. If it's a solid punch, which, imagine, like, when you imagine, like, D&D &D characters, they're always, like, at the top of their field, basically. He's an orc. He's going to punch really hard. That's... So I hear, I hear this clocking sound. I'm like, oh. we, we're More talking. like a soft cracking sound. Maybe, like, a, his... His, uh... Jaw got fractured a little bit. We're talking about physics and sounds in D and D. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How nerdy can we get? Sixteen yeah. points of damage. Uh, I'm actually going to use I don't remember what it's called. Deflect missiles. Okay. Uh, so that is D10. Uh, so nine plus Dex mod, which is five plus monk level, which is eight. So I reduce it. Spend the key point. Throw it. At the orc right in front of me. And so let's just see if I hit first. Yeah, it actually doesn't hit his AC. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God. Corvaeus. I will look back at the others like, that sounds like fighting, and I'm going to move over here. Of course. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to hold my action. And if someone comes out, I will firebolt them. Okay. Uh, it's good that you had that in mind. Let's go to make a strength check. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> He's going to burst through the wall. This guy with his big old shield and the big old spear just bursts through the wall, landing on the ground in like a heap of, <laughs> a heap of big old human. Uh, Pulling the Kool Aid yeah, Man. Yeah, and I, I, I said I would firebolt whatever. <laughs> So, Firebolt it is. That probably misses. Nope, that hits. Oh. I was like, ha! Ah! <laughs> Firebolt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, then, like, this wizard dude just kind of waltz right over the guy who just, like, made a giant hole in the wall and uh, rolls a uh, level. I don't know. He's going to do level 4 magic missile. 64, right? Well, then he does it at 5th level. Okay. Okay. That, 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 that works. Oh. Is this, is this all at Yin Yin? No, that's all at Eucharist. Shield. Oh, shield. Oh, really? Oh. It nullifies magic missile. Nice. Lucky. So this guy pops out and he just uses a call lightning on you, and I didn't remember what call lightning is. I'm going to need you to make me some sort of save. When you say you... Curveus. Okay. Dexterity. 
I think so. Yeah. I'm screwed. Oh, oh not too bad. Yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. That is a pass. So you only take half damage. Six damage, not bad. I, I can. I can. I'm looking. And then this, and then this homeboy goes. Looks looks at you, Union, and uh, rages. Which one and is just, that? It's the orc. The one in front of you. Oh, okay. Then decides to reckless rage. Barbarian with over twenty-five AC. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, and then he just because why not? Reckless rages, so both his attacks have advantage. It's Forty-eight altogether. Oh. And she just kind of steps over. Makes an attack with the long rifle. Hits you. They're all rolling really good. 22 points of damage. Alright. I'm done. You're unconscious? Yeah. I had 57. Then this guy goes over here. Moves around his buddy. Stands here because you're unconscious. And uh, doesn't do anything. This guy goes... Is there... Ganyan, make me a death saving throw. Two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, not a one at least. This guy goes, it's like 40 feet of movement because he's good. Graven? All I hear is Yen collapsing to the ground, I guess. You don't even uh, hear him collapse. You just hear that, I'll yeah? I'll know soon because I'm going to move right here. And then I see Yen on the ground. Magic man's going to hold up, or this magic man's going to hold up his hand. He's like, I wouldn't. Uh, so he's warning me? Yeah. I'm going to put an arrow on my bow and hold in my action. Okay. And that guy's just going to drink. Rowan? I'm going to just sort of peek around this corner here and just be like, hold on, can we talk about this for a minute? I'm not going to attack. The, uh, the guy who told Graven to hold on gives you a thumbs up. This guy goes... Doesn't do anything, Kareas. I'm just kind of like having my hands up. Okay, obviously my idiot compatriot said something wrong to piss you off. I'm really sorry about the firebolt. I was just kind of panicked. What the hell happened? They've all kind of lowered their weapons and decided that uh, they don't entirely want to kill you right now. I <laughs> kind of like gingerly gesture, like, can can we fix him real quick? Alchemist Wizard kind of holds up his hand. Uh... Like, motions over to White Wizard, and White Wizard, like, just gently touches you. You get up with fi with 14 hit points, but you're surrounded by armed men who are pointing their weapons at you. Okay, I'm gonna sit up and kind of wipe the blood off my, off my mouth. Yeah. Uh, what did you say? Well, if he let me finish, instead of just sucker punching me in the middle of my sentence, I could have told him everything. Oh, that was, that was What really did weird. you say? I was telling him about Zeiss, how he trusted me, and we were using that against him. As soon as I said Zeiss, he punched me. You moron. How have you survived this long? Please oh, forgive my idiot compatriot on our behalf. We apologize for everything he said, did, and damaged. Well, uh... They hit me. Like, uh, two of the, the two knights on the other side of you just kind of, like, get their weapons a bit closer to you. Probably as a warning sign to not talk. Well, uh, you see, we're not allowed to let anyone in here, so it doesn't really matter what you said. Yeah. We're gonna have to ask the four of you to just, you know, drop your weapons. Uh... I, I would like to just leave, if that's okay. Yeah, hey, no. Is there any peaceful accord that we can arrange? Yeah, you drop your weapons, and uh, we'll handle it from there. Sounds pretty peaceful to me. I'll just kind of point at the quarterstaff in my back and take it. Okay. And I slowly reach for the four daggers on my person and just unclip the belt and just gently put it down on the ground in front of me and then kind of shove it towards them. And then just slowly back away. Uh, they take your hand wraps, your uh, staff, and anything else that looks weaponish. Uh, yeah. Short sword. Uh, yeah, short sword as well. Uh, oh, they take actually... your spell book and your medallion. Gervais. Yeah, so I give them my bow. And I just so... kind of look at Rowan. <laughs> Rowan very real. <laughs> they they, they like, kind of like look at you, Graven, and they're like, come on. Okay, I give him uh, my bow, my rapier, my dagger that's 
on me, uh, my other longbow, and my rifle, and I just <laughs> want to say, out of character, I have two hidden daggers. That's great. Uh, roll me a uh, sleight of hand. Can you keep them hidden? Come on. Where are they hidden? This. They just pat you down, then over to look. Where were they <laughs> hidden, Graven? Two daggers uh, under my armpits, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> so hi. So they take all your weapons <laughs> and they bring the four of you down to here. Nope. Oh, you moved people. Yeah. Bypassing the four, the five locked doors, each using a handprint. Like in the middle of the door, they march you through. You are moved into a much darker, very foul smelling jail area. You can kind of see into the cells of the others. Uh, this jail seems to be rather full of people. You don't hear anyone calling out for help as they're fairly certain you guys aren't there to help them. I'm uh, guessing we can't talk to anyone? Uh, after after they put you in, they just lock the door behind you and like just kind of walk away. Uh, between all of the cells are stone walls. There's a stone wall in the front and like just a wooden door oh. with uh, like heavy looking iron straps across it. At least we're together. See, I got us to the prison, guys. And so I'm having the weirdest smart. sense of deja vu. Yes. As if in some past lifetime. <laughs> I think before we do anything, I think we should take some some rest. Well, they only took our weapons. So Yes, that's... but before attempting anything... Well, no, I'm just like, that's good. It means they they realize we're idiots. Or they think we're idiots. No, no, we're... we're, we're I, 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 I looked directly at Yin Yin's like, no, we're idiots. I got us to the jail, so... You saw those doors, we wouldn't have got past it. Maybe we should, uh... How... Is it dark in here? Real dark. I click, gonna... I click on the light stone. Did they take all of our? Other no, they stuff? just they just took our weapons. They, that's why I was like, they didn't take everything. Yeah. <laughs> Which means they're not evil ish. So, I click on I click on my lights. Then should be more than enough for this room. Yeah, lights are pretty good. Yeah, we should rest. I agree. Uh, yeah. So at least a short rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a nap kind of curl up and go to sleep yeah i'm i'm rolling four of my hit dice then roll them all right so we've had a short rest okay well i still have my lock picks how are you gonna pick a lock on the outside from the inside well you said they're iron bars right nope um simple wooden door with large iron straps across it oh oh uh can I cast Mage Hand through something? Yeah, you have to be able to see it. Okay, if you say so. So I think I know what you want to do. And you would have to be, you would have to be able to see it. Yeah, you have to get your well, lock picks to the other side, anyways. All right, so I guess we're gonna stay in here for a little bit, and then hopefully they'll let us talk to them, and we can explain the situation. I don't think that's a good idea, because they're going. I'm pretty sure, one, they would not give one of their prisoners up. No, but they can at least maybe help us figure something out, come to some accord. I really don't think so. <laughs> she can't leave that. Well, they have Zongold, so why would they give him up? I'm with Graven on that. We can at least talk to Zongold and figure out what's going on. Well, that'd be nice. Uh, however, we have no idea where he is. We know he's here. We know he's, yeah. Is he, though? Yeah. Well, according to his potion and walking stick, this was the place. Yeah, but, I mean... Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought you meant, like, here as in those uh, cells. Oh, no, he's somewhere in this fort. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's we... possible he's in one of these cells, because... Wasn't the vision something around that line where he's like in a prison cell or something like that? Yeah. So there's a good chance we just don't know. And besides, there could be other prison cells in this facility besides where they took us. Mm -hmm. What's the floor made out of? Like a 
big old stone. They just essentially cave carved a room out of the mountain. Is there any kind of space under the door? A little bit. Small enough for a mouse? I mean, you can turn to a spider, so small enough for a spider. Okay. I'm going to turn and look at oh. everyone else and be like, you know, I could be shape and try and open the door from the outside. It's tempting, but what if you can't figure out how to open it and what if there's someone out there? I don't necessarily have to shift back immediately i can crawl out as a spider and look around uh, if you can see through the bottom maybe i can try casting misty step through the bottom of the door that's a big maybe <laughs> very big maybe i mean i can technically get well i cast pre-digestation to clean ourselves up does it work yeah you look nicer Okay. So well, magic is not through the door. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just seeing if magic is an issue. If it isn't, I could easily go to the other side of that door if it's not anti magic And I could take one of us with me. But I'd rather not piss off our hosts. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. I, I don't know how long of a stretch this is. <laughs> okay. I pull out from my bag a small mirror on a metal handle. <laughs> and I slide it through the bottom of the door, facing upwards, so that I can see the door from the outside. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. I cast Mage Hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here to this corner, sit down, and lean back. Unfortunately... <laughs> The lock is in a recessed area, so you can't actually see the lock. Oh, no. Oh. I can't, like, turn the mirror just a tiny bit to see where where uh, where the lock is. You can nope. see straight up, but you don't see the recessed in the door. Uh, what if I bend the metal stick? That's a hell of a bend in the stick. I mean, you can always give it a try. <laughs> I'm going to pass it to Yin Yin. Hey, can you bend this for me? About yeah. like maybe like <laughs> seventy good, degrees. I kind of lean over to Rowan because I was gonna bend it all the way together. Two gold. This doesn't work. Oh, no way. That's that's too easy of a bet to lose. All right. Um, I take a look at it. In my mind, I think of seventy degrees, which Yenian has no idea. And I, 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 before, before you do it, it's like about this big, and I okay. show him with my hands. Okay. Yeah, you bend it real good. It's bent. Okay. There you go. I shove it down the door again and try to get an angle on the lock. Yeah, no. It seems like uh, they have a rogue in the group who knows about this kind of stuff. Damn it. I'm gonna go feel the door. How solid it's is it? Fairly solid. I think it's beginning to dawn on you. That these guys are not bandits. They're hired professionals. They're Oops. professionals. These are professionals. Yep. I kind of figured that out from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm saying it specifically Dawn's and Graven. Okay. That... I, reach, I reach into my sack and pull out our dry rash and I just break it in half and hand, it, hand part of it to Rowan. And I just start eating. <laughs> I... Rowan's going to nibble on it. I would like oh. to try one last thing. Sure. I'm wondering if I can misty step using the mirror's image. Well, you can see outside of the cell, no problem. That's exactly what I'm wondering. If I could cast me step to con, uh, to go out of the Bloody. cell. Yeah, sure. Is that what you want to do? I look at the others first, and I'm like, I think I can cast Misty Step. Can you Misty Step back in after you fail? I look, I look at Rowan. So how much you want to make a bet that this plan of his doesn't work? Look, this is easy gold for you. I'm not taking no, that No, 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 no. I'm collaborating you, with you. If he fails, if he fails, he owes us. Nice to see how much faith you guys have in me. Means, <laughs> I'm with you on that one. I'm just thinking ahead here, Graven. Can you miss a step back in if you fail? I mean, I could do it the same way I just did it. Okay. My Look, good, good a shot. Graven, I'm, my I'm plan is to wait here until they come, and then we can have a civilized talk with them. I don't think that's going to happen. I really I'm gonna, don't. I'm going to feel the door again, Dick. I, I want to get a really good sense of how or, thick is this door. 
That's a big door. Okay. Do you give it like a few chest punches? Yeah. It's a it's a fairly a fairly heavy heavy wooden door. Um... Light the sucker on fire. I am not going to burn the door down. The... <laughs> like you know, in the real life, where you have those big old security metal doors, and like mm -hmm. they're like six to eight inches thick. Bank vaults. Not as thick as that, but you're getting there. It's like a good, solid, I... real yeah. cat door. I'll... How in danger do I feel, Dirt? Do I feel like you're in much danger? Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do it then. If they wanted to kill you, they would have. Actually, they um, already almost did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they had every possibility to do so. Okay. Um, I just want to know, also, do we know about those five locked doors? Like, did they, like... They, you you yeah. were dragged right through them. Yeah, they didn't blindfold us. They just they just escorted us. Yep. So, we, so we know about those five locked doors. Yeah. Yep. So even if we can get out of this cell, there's still those five doors, which I doubt we can get through if they're magicked. I'm going to knock on the door. Sounds like a thick wooden door. I'm trying to figure out if there's a guard out there or not. <laughs> Can I see a guard through the mirror? No, you don't. I mean, if you want to go spider and look under the door and look around, I, I'm just well, saying. Well, if he I... can, if he can misty, I only have, I can only be shape one more time before a long rest. So if he can misty step, I still have all my spells, but I only have two second level spells. I hate to waste a B shape. Then don't. Enjoy your food, yeah. sit back and relax, and hopefully they'll come back and talk to us. Light the door on fire. I am not lighting the door on fire! <laughs> I mean, uh, it's good! <laughs> I'm not lighting the door on fire. Okay, so you're, you're all up for waiting. Yes. Because they could have easily taken us down, out, and killed us, taken all of our stuff, but they only took our weapons, our offensive stuff, which means they're not total dicks. Fine. I'm just gonna sit in the corner and meditate. Fine. We'll we'll plate we'll plate your way then. I well, still have my I still have my alcohol, yes, Dirk? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink of alcohol. While we're waiting here, I'm gonna pull out. I, I pull out a, a potion. A... I'm gonna pull out a potion and be like, "Hey, Curveus." <laughs> right. You know that that this will kill some time. Uh, there's just one potion left, right? Yeah. Here goes nothing! Don't! Oh! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna read my magic book while we're waiting. Okay. I actually kind of walk over to Yenyan. Pour me half a cup. <laughs> I kind of open open one eye, reach over for the alcohol, and pour it a little. Okay. <laughs> this is this is very strong. Careful. That's why I want half a cup and I'm gonna be sharing it with Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> It'll affect non people that don't drink as much to be a little bit harder. Yeah. That's why I'm sharing it. I'm probably I'm gonna meditate for about maybe ten, fifteen minutes before I just look at Graven and go, Can I see your book, Graven? Uh sure. Yeah. And I pass him the book. Are you looking for anything? Uh yes. I am looking to see about staffs. Specifically, maybe where they make staffs from that are magical. I mean, I, I'm i still mm -hmm. reading through it, and I still haven't found anything uh, on my bow. And I've been reading it for a few hours now. Well, I'm not looking for a specific weapon. I'm looking more to see if I can find, like, if there's a place that they make staffs from. And Dirk, if you remember our conversation last week, I'm looking for, like, the tree or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staffs are fairly common. Uh, go ahead and give me, like, uh, an investigation check, I guess. Oh, fuck yeah. Great. <laughs> He's great at those. A six. Boy, there are a lot of words and a lot of big magical words. Hmm. Eh. It's kind of you... confusing. I'll slide it would back you... to him. Also, you... a good amount of it is written in Dragonborn. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's oh. a detail you didn't specify. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I don't need to since I've always said that uh, dragon uh, or dragonborn yeah. language is magic language for me. Ha! Huh. So I don't really read dragonborn that much. Can you read draconic? No. Oh, too bad you don't know someone who does. But he said <laughs> know, he said right? a good portion of it, right? Say it again. 
You said a good portion, so it's not all of it. No, it's not all of it. Do you know Draconic, uh, Curvaeus? And I just start talking in Draconic to Rowan. I don't know, do, <laughs> you, starts... do, do you know Draconic? In Draconic, she strikes right back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, doesn't everyone? Yeah, I know. I it just doesn't. Too just, much alcohol. I... They're speaking in tongues. I mean, I thought <laughs> Draconic. You know... <laughs> and I just offer my empty hand out <laughs> to, to Graven. I pass in the book. I'm like, all right, you guys could have mentioned that at first. All right, so I start perusing through the book with Rowan next to me, so she can see it too. Okay, I'll look for uh, investigation check. All right, do you find a mention of the thing that you're wearing? Oh, the amulet. Yep. That he's not wearing at the moment. Yeah, they have it confiscated, but still, I'm gonna read that shit up. As a weapon? Uh huh. It is an amulet of elements. It was created a long time ago by fusing four different elementals into a certain kind of metal. Uh, elementals are activated by non magical means. So I was on the right track. I just have to find purity of those elements. Hey, sweet. Where are you going to find air? Hasn't ar- we haven't already found air. It's got to be a pure source, so maybe in the mountains. There's Granted, place- I am talking about this with no context, so <laughs> he doesn't realize <laughs> I found the medallion entry instead of his bow entry. You do Something. find mention of his bow, but it is only a couple of words. Okay. Uh, it is oh. a single warning. User beware how you activate this bow. And I relay that to Graven. <laughs> um, so I've only found this small passage. I probably need more time with it. But it it's your bow comes with a warning. User beware. Small parts keep away from children. <laughs> that means yin yin. Got Choking it. Choking hazard. <laughs> and nothing else? Well, I inadvertently found stuff on my medallion. Well, that's good. Yeah. it's. I was actually on the right track. It's a medallion of elements. I just have to expose it to non-magical elements. Oh, so... What I've been doing. Yes, that's good. Yeah, so I was actually on the right track. As for your bow, it just says user beware. I'm going to need some time with this book to really read into it and try to research it and investigate further. Or Rowan can do it, or we can just work together and, and try to help you out. It's going to take some time. My guess sure. is Rowan works on the book. I work on Rowan's potion. Yeah, that works. It th- does it not say beware of what, though? It just says user beware. So there's either a price that you have to pay or some risk that you take when using that bow. Well, I have, I mean, the one time where it's in quote fully activated, it did take my life force. Then that's probably the warning. We'll work on reading this book more and try to find more on this bow, but be careful. This could kill you if it's draining your life force to use it. Yeah. Do we find anything on the bear paw? <clears throat> nope. Um, I guess Rowan should hang on to the book for now. Yeah, I'll take the book. I'll start kind of just flipping through some pages. All right, do you guys eventually take a long rest? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so long rest plus the short rest that we took. So we've been here for about 10 hours. All right, so as the morning dawns, which you guys don't know, it's super dark and it's super little, a little no, bit No, we have the lights down. All right, fair enough. You don't know what time it is, though, but you do wake up. Eventually, uh, eventually two of the armored guys... Come down, one takes out a key, opens the cell door, and uh, points at Curveus. I get up. Just me, or can I take someone with me? They're just pointing at you. Right. <clears throat> and I trudge forward. I go back to sleep. They wait for you to exit the cell, and once you do, they close it quickly behind you, locking it again. The minute they shut the door... I'm going to walk up to the door, and I'm going to be shaped into a spider and crawl underneath the crack. And if I can, attach myself to Curveus. As Curveus is leaving, I'm going to cast message and say, keep, uh, keep in contact if you can. Respond. I'll try. I'm going to snore. You know, 
Uh, all right, so they push you over to the large metal, the large doors that you walk by. You know, because before they were rushing you and like pushing you in a hurry. It's hard to take in any real detail. Okay. Now these guys are just kind of walking with a lazadaisical kind of attitude. They don't really care as much. So I'm over here now. Yep. Am I latched to him as a spider? Yeah, why not? They probably wouldn't even notice. I'll be honest okay. here. <laughs> they are trained professionals, but they're not going to notice the spider. It's rough. I don't know. Do they have arachnophobia? <laughs> spider. Yeah, so they they march you over to these doors. The two of them put their hands on. So one of them puts their hands on this door, and then the next one puts their hands on the doors in front. The doors are large and metal in nature as they put their hands on the doors in the spot. Okay, I'm just trying to observe and memorize as much as I can. <laughs> yep, the large doors retract into the wall, seemingly of their own force, and you see the next three doors in front of you open in sort of the same way, the middle one opening last, as there are three other guys on the other end. So there's three more guys over here, mm -hmm. and they they walk, the five of them walk you back to where the bar is All right, and then they walk you to the bar point at the table where alchemy magic guy is sitting and uh just wait i guess all right i'll take a seat so he, he pushes a drink in front of you he's like ah so why are the four of you here uh, because my compatriot's brother might be here as a prisoner and he thought he was dead um which we all believe is somehow involving the machinations of one zeiss who if i'm reading this correctly no one in this room likes including myself well you are an honest fellow i'll give you that no i honestly didn't expect you to tell me the whole truth just straight up and you're like you, you notice that like he puts a potion away uh, after that skirmish last night, obviously outclassed, outmanned, there's no point. <laughs> well, you are correct about the brother. He was here. Actually, uh, you know, one of the one of the guys who brought you down thought it'd be funny to put you guys in the same cell that he was in, not knowing the irony. I'll have to, I'll have to let him know that later. They'll find it hilarious. So he's not here anymore. Oh, no, no, he left. Left on his own volition, illegally, legally. Of his own volition, in a sense. It's a slightly complicated situation, a little bit hard to explain. I've got time. I'm lazy. Got it. Also, I don't think I'm clear to actually explain to you what's going on. But uh, yeah, he was here. I'm not entirely sure for free to free you guys. So you are connected with him. So, uh... I'll have you guys sent in with some food if you don't want you dying on us. That would be rather poor manners, and our employer would not be very happy. No, that's that's um, that, that's appreciated. It's just the fact, like I said, we found out his brother was alive. We wanted to figure out how and why because he thought his brother was dead. So we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Zeiss came to us offering us information, and we basically told Zeiss, go fuck yourself. And we tried to figure it out on our own. An appropriate response when you're dealing with that scumbag. So I can understand your trepidation because of the affiliation with um, his brother. We're just trying to figure out how he served. Well, I'm trying to help him try to figure out how he survived. Well, I guess since you're here, I'll go ahead and say what I can. He's dead, kind of, in a weird way. Necromancy? Weirder. So, uh, yeah, he, he, like, points at the five guys who brought you in. I'll look at you some food, and we'll bring you back to your cells right away. Uh, so... I expect to, actually expect you two to carry all the food. They, they need to use their hands to open the doors, obviously. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, so, what are the odds of us walking away from here? Or maybe you guys can help us track him down? I mean, is he a sore spot for you guys that we can help take care of? Because... Yeah. Really depends what our employer wants. Right. Because so we'll love, have to talk about that. Because, like I said, we have a mutual interest in sticking it to Zeiss. I'd love it if we could. I really don't like him. 
No, yeah, I understand. Our employer is not a huge fan either. So, um, it was nice chatting with you. Thank you for being honest. Saved yourself a lot of pain. Yeah, I don't do well with that. How So how long okay. will we know if, before it's all decided? Who knows? Have a nice time. All right. And the two, uh, the two armored guys come out with, like, four bags. Essentially four doggy bags. <laughs> I look in the doggy bag. What, what kind of food is it? A water skin, uh, dried meat, and bread. All right. I, t- I grab the food and follow them back. All right. But when when we get back to the cells, I'm going to climb off. I'm going to stay outside the five the doors. Cell. Yeah. No, no. I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, that's tempting. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay outside. Oh, I'm in the wrong cell. The... <laughs> I'm gonna stay outside the prison cells. So I re-enter the room and I hand each of them a doggy bag, and I sit in the uh, corner. Yeah, we can just we're in the middle of sparring, so. Oh, well, then I just toss up. I just I just leave a bag in each corner then, or no, I leave a bag in in your corner in each of your corners, and I keep and I have two bags on me. As soon as he enters, I stop sparring. <laughs> I accidentally hit Graven. <laughs> roll, roll me an attack then. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> 14. It misses you. Uh, Yes, it does. It does come awfully close, though. <laughs> you, you have to like actively step back to avoid it. Like, okay, buddy. It's, it's over. It's over. You can't just stop in the middle of it. You gotta warn me next time. I got I some food. You want some food? It's uh, bread, it. bread, dried meat, and a water skin. I'll take it. Uh, where's Rowan? I thought she was with you. Um, she she be shocked as soon as you left. Oh, well, then I have no idea, because I didn't realize she was on me. Or near me, or whatever. Um. So, here's the predicament. We're going to be stuck here for a while. That's why they're giving us food. But they're going to treat us nicely. Uh, I did learn a couple of things. Their employer is someone that could potentially let us free in the fact that we both don't like Zeiss. So we have that going for us. Hopefully they can use us to track down your brother. Because your brother was here. In fact, he was actually staying in this very cell. What do you mean, was? He apparently escaped or left they wouldn't tell me exactly how or what escaped or left yes like he was transferred maybe they like i said they weren't very precise they kind of withheld information basically just saying that he was here and now he's not and also gave me a little bit of information about your brother in terms of how he survived okay he's dead but he's not dead I asked if it was necromancy was involved, but they said no, it's more complicated than that. So he might be undead, he might not. If hold on, you asked him if he was if it was necromancy and you said it's more complicated? Yeah. It's more complicated than that, which means it's not purely necromancy or something how, way beyond my realm of expertise. And remember, I... my expertise in magic is I'm not book studied. <laughs> okay. So I'm wondering if he was dead and then they performed some sort of strange ritual I don't know what performance yeah. thing on him it's possible like i said not my realm of expertise my magic comes from within not from books Ugh. and what i just know basics all we can really do is see if their interests and our interests align just enough for them to let us go so we can track down your brother and figure out what's going on. And if they don't? Then we try your plan. Uh, how were their attitude when you were talking to them? Good. The fact that I was honest with them helped our situation because they were ready to drug me and torture me. But because I was honest and truthful, I think I earned some points. Uh, all right, we'll play the patient game. I guess. I don't like it, but I think the alternative is 
Well, the patient game, although it's long, it's paying off so far because we did learn information about your brother. Yeah. And we may gain a potential ally against Zeiss. You know, if they do this like Zeiss as much as you say, I'm wondering if we could come to some sort of agreement in terms of like, I've been thinking for a while now to end Zeiss operations like permanently. Think it up. Think it up clearly. Think of contingency plans, backup plans, whatever, and you can offer it to them. Hopefully that'll help our case. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to eat Rowan's food. And I go sit down (laughs) in the corner. I'm out in the hallway. I've dropped B-Shape, and I've missed their entire conversation because I've been outside here. I'm going to use my produce flame can trip so that I have light, and I'm just kind of investigating the whole area. I'm going to knock on, like one of the cell doors and see if someone answers. Yeah, um, which one do you... you uh, knock? Well, I'll knock on, on this one. Alright, that's actually kind of hilarious. Uh, you hear some scuffling, and eventually a small head pops up. Are uh, there, like, bars in the door? Can I see in? Yeah, there's like, head-level bars. Okay. Yeah, you kind of like I'm standing on your tippy just a little bit, because I think you're a little bit shorter. I am. So you, have to, you have to stand on your tippy toes a little bit, but you're able to see it, and eventually you see a little head pop up to you. Little head pop up. It's like, ah, hello? <laughs> Hi. What are you in for? Well, I don't, I don't know. I was just um, going through this area looking, looking for a cave to mine. Um, they kind of stumbled in here, and they just kind of put me in here. Any idea how long you've been here? Hey, hey, do you guys know how long we've been here? I've been here, like, five weeks. Uh, the one I'm standing on has been here for, like, 16 days. The one behind her has been here for, like, two months. And you all just, like, accidentally stumbled through? Uh, something like that, yeah. Well, oh, shit. Hi, I'm Rowan, by the way. <laughs> we also <laughs> stumbled through, thanks to, uh, well, a lot of weird circumstances and one big idiot, but, you know. And you, they just... you, you can call me Al. Al? Yeah, 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 Al. Like A L, something like that, you know? Okay, okay, yeah. Al. It's not like Al because no, that's that's too oh. masculine. Al. And they just like bring you food and water and. Yeah, when, what's a day? And they never tell you whether they're gonna let you out or not. Uh, no. This is shit. All right, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> and I, I walk away. Uh, I'm going to walk over to where the metal doors are. Are they flush with the ceiling and the floor? Oh, yeah. Uh, More more than flush. They, like, actually go into indentations. Damn, that's what I thought. And there's, like, no, like, do I see any, like, air shafts or anything in, like, the ceilings around, like, in this area or? Anything that something small could crawl through. Nope. Have we ended our discussion in our cell at this point? Probably not, because we had a long discussion. There's no small crevices out of this area at all? Nope. Ugh. All right, for the time being, I'm just going to be shaped back into a spider and crawl back into the into a, our cell and shift back out. All right. Well, Where were you? Looking around, trying to see if there was any way that I could get out without having to hitch a ride on the guards, but I don't see any way to get all of us out. There's more people in here. Yeah, well, it's a prison, to a degree. Apparently, anyone that stumbles by this place just gets thrown into a cell. That's not good. One person apparently has been here for, like, a long time. (laughs) That's not good. I'm really hoping that your plan comes through, Curveus, because, yeah. Well, as I said, if my plan fails, we do your plan. (laughs) But the guard, once a day with food, I can always try and hitch a ride on one of them. Yeah, they only brought us three bags. I saw them give you four, Curveus. <laughs> I just shrugged. I was, I was there, asshole. 
And I kind of shove him. I'm like, you ate my food, didn't you? No, I ate my food. So I just continue eating the piece of dried meat and bread, looking very smug. I'll toss Rowan my bag of food and meditate. I'm not hungry anyways. And I'll just drink. I guess I'll meditate without my bow. Because that's the only thing I know what to do at this point, so... I'm gonna eat and read the book. And I'm gonna look at a potion. When Graven says that, I'm gonna kind of hold up the bottle. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Not while I'm in a prison. <laughs> this is the best time to drink. I need to keep my senses sharp. When we're out of here and we're out of danger, then I'll resume the drink. Uh, the, the Sounds drink like drink. we're gonna be here a while. I mean, just saying. Take another swig and <laughs> go back to meditating. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, go ahead and make a arcana roll for the potion. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Please work, please work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if I'm reading through the book, do I need to roll anything? I don't know if I'm... Are you reading for anything specific or just reading? I'm going to try and find information on my bear paw. Yeah, go ahead and roll me investigation. Not that I think Bjorn's going to help a whole lot with our current situation. But I kind of give the bear paw a pat and I'm like, hey, buddy. You just hear, like, happy bear noises inside your head. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm going to spend all my free time on this damn potion, so... I, would... uh, I guess we'll go ahead and roll me another one, because why not? Can I do it at advantage? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Please I'll give it, it to him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Roll 20 does not want me to figure out what this potion is. What number is it even? Go figure out what it does. Potion number 9. <laughs> it's the best way to figure out what a potion does. Mm, this is literally it. potion 54 all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Except for you still don't know what that one does. Yep. Oh I rolled at advantage, and I get a 1 and a 4. God. Well, I guess if it's alright, as long as we're in here and we've got plenty of time, next time I roll, is it okay if I keep rolling at advantage? Yeah, sure. You guys are essentially there for another day. What do you guys do during that day? Read. Meditate, drink, Figure see out if Grave wants to spar. They only give us food once a day, right? Yep. That's why I didn't give you that fourth bag, so... If anyone needs snacks, we got snacks. So I start so you can have snacks. I see how no, it is. No, it's for everyone. <laughs> I mean, I could throw the, the roll at your head if you want. Yeah, I'll meditate on the facts. All right, go ahead and give me one more arcana check on that potion. Just why not? Double ones. Double ones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> <laughs> Three and four is funny. Oh my Called God. it. I'm going to do this again where it doesn't count now. Yep. <laughs> Still doesn't not, make it. Yeah, it's not that much better. There's a reason I started paying wizards to identify for me. <laughs> he really wants that potion in the game, though. And the deal is he has to identify the potion first. <laughs> Alright, so as the night falls, do you guys take like a Shift long rest, or you just dead? Uh, I I see no reason to have a guard unless you want to use the alarm spell. There's I, there's no point. Yeah, Rowan's just asleep. So yeah, sleeping. Yeah, I'll <laughs> I'll sleep and then well sleep for for the first four hours, meditate for the next one for whatever reason, nothing special. I take a chunk of bread and put it on her face and then go to sleep. <laughs> She's going to, like, wake up in the middle of the night and kick you. All right, at some point, let's say 5 o'clock in the morning, who would be awake? Genyan and Graven, no. probably. No, I'd be passed out. <laughs> Rowan's not a morning person. <laughs> I'm planning on finishing this bottle of very strong alcohol while we're in prison. All right, so, <laughs> Graven, you're the only one awake. As you look around, you see the stone walls slowly, slowly begin to disintegrate. As eventually, 
over in the next couple of minutes. It just straight up just is no longer there. And from within inside the tunnel in the rock wall, you see a pale, pale yellow light kind of etching out through it. Just like a, just like a hole in the wall right here. Just, just a big old hole. I immediately wake up the others. Oh, what? Mm. What? Yeah. Kind of uh, push myself up. Look around us. What? Um, I look through the hole. As you eh, actually, you are despite the the light's nature and being so pale, you are actually blinded by the light. Okay, and I kind of back away from the light. As a, as about thirty seconds pass, uh, a figure kind of steps into the hole. Uh, he closes the front part of his lamp because I forget what that's called. Looks at the four of you, slightly confused. He's like, "You guys, you, you're not my friends. Are you Alfred, Eonfid, or Seelwolf?" There's an all next door. No, my friend I'm looking for is Alfred. Alfred. I don't know. I only talked to uh, one person in here. But if you bust us out, we'll help you find them. There's a bunch of cells in here. Hmm. Well, I'm not here to bunch of. Bust a bunch of people out. I don't even know why I would help you. I don't even know you. Then what exactly are you here for? I told you. Alred, Envid, and Sandwolf. Alright. Uh, what if I told you that I might be one of those three? If I'm looking for them, I should know their face. But if we help you look for them, will you help us out of here? No, I don't possibly see how you could help me. Well, the more, one that more people would be be faster to find them. Do you also have things which grant you passage through solid objects? Uh, no. Well, maybe. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> I can punch through doors sometimes. No, oh, why, why have you not done so yet? Uh Well, I can only take one other person other with me. The doors are pretty big. <laughs> and I'm not willing to abandon two of my friends. Yeah, yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm looking for my friends. They were captured. Yeah, so are we. Well, I'll tell you what. Make it worth my time, and I just might take you with me. What well, are their names? Alred, Eonfid, and Sigmuf. Well, and I point <laughs> to the door. First we I'm open gonna... that door, and then we can look around, because there's other s cells. I'm just going to be shape into a spider and crawl out into the hallway shift back into a human, start knocking on each door, asking if they are those three names. <laughs> Which door do you go to first? Uh, I'm going to start with our corner and ask. Uh, no, just, no, it's the three of us in here. All right, hang tight. Um, then I'm going to move to this door. You just see, like, a grumpy elf poke his head. I was like, what? Are you Alred, Infid, or Sinfulf? No. Neither right. of our names. <laughs> and I just move on to the next door. And I repeat the same question. A young gentleman kind of like run runs up to the door as you say the name. So yes, yes, I'm Sinfulf. All right, cool. Hang tight. And I go back to my cell and I call the door. Hey, I found him. No, oh, excellent. He just, like, kind of walks past you, like, walks up to the door, opens the lantern, shines it on the door, and it just kind of, like, dematerializes, and he steps through. So and, like, I... as soon as he steps through, this, the hole in the wall here just, just closes up. Okay, because I was going to look through it. <laughs> yeah. Before I, I tell you where they're at, will you help the rest of us get out of here? He already got us out of the room. Why, why would I do that? Can we? Because we're stuck in here. All of us are stuck. Some of us have been stuck in here for a long time. I don't care. Who I... are you exactly? How's your lantern work? Well, I shine it on things, and the things are no longer there. Can we just follow through your tunnel in your wake while you get out? Uh, my name is Ilfred. My name is Rowan. Nice to meet you. Well, I suppose, but... Getting all of you would take entirely too much time. He just, like, walks over here, shines the light on the door, and see a wolf just walks out. He's like, ah, oh, brother! Brother! 
Brother! Good to see you again. It is good to see you as well. All right, so Brother, now we're going to we... find your other two friends, and then we can all get out of here. I do not know. Brother, have you been well? Yes, I've been well. Good, we must take these, these two gentlemen with us. These uh, these, these, these uh, older gentlemen have been very useful in my survival here. All right, you've always been so emotional. We'll take them too. Hey, how about the two, the three in the corner back here, please? Oh, brother, come on! You've always been such a hard ass. Why not let them out? Well, I guess we can. I whisper the others. I just want to point out we still don't have our gear. He shines the light at this door and it and it just goes away. The three of them run out. Yeah. I That's mean, a if problem. you open all the cells, there's a bigger chance of the, you guys getting out because the guards will try and grab everybody. I can I can move myself through solid rock. Why would I want to get everybody out? I don't really have an argument for that, but there other than to be a decent person. Uh, excuse me, young lady. I do not want to, want to make you want to disappear. And she moves. Uh, all right. He just like shines the light at the door. So like, come on, everybody, after me. Well, what about your other two compatriots? They are not here. Uh, God. That was pretty quick to not check. Our stuff, though. Yeah, we need <laughs> our stuff. But what if we get back through by the entrance instead of going through those five locked doors? That would be one way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We just risk getting caught again. And he just, like, signs the light on the wall and starts walking through. Irregardless if you're following him or not. Uh... Let's, yeah, let, <laughs> let's follow and r go through the entrance again. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I follow way in. This yeah. is gonna be tricky, but yeah, sure, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, we need, we're, we're not leaving this place without our gear. I refuse to leave this bow behind. <laughs> I mean, I can forego the daggers, but that spellbook and, and amulet, now that I know what it does, or have it better, like, confirmed. Ugh. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best to get it back. All right, I'm going to follow him, too. Yeah, we're all going to funnel out. Yeah, same. Kind of feel bad for the other people we're leaving behind, but okay. <laughs> He's already taken half the cells. He's done his share. All right, so he just walks out. The many of you follow, and eventually you guys uh, find your way on the outside of the mountain. There's like a horse and carriage waiting in the forest, and he just jumps on, and so does Ilfred. Okay, well. <laughs> Thanks for the breakout. Now we got to break back in. The gnomes <laughs> follow, and two of the lady dwarf and the lady elf follow as well. The, the gnome is staying with you guys. Did you need something? Well, you you saved me. You said you said you needed your gear. I, I want to help. You might get back into prison, though. And so will you. Fair. All right. So how do we get our stuff back? The stealthy way. That's your department. I have passed without a trace. I mean, once I get my stuff, I can dimension door out of there. I always have misty step, but that does not work all the time. Well, dimension door is. Got a little bit more range. Yeah, <laughs> and, a lot more range. <laughs> and I can and I can take someone with me. Yeah. I could always pass. Well, the problem is, is we don't know where it's at. So I said, let's start by going in. Maybe one of us does some recon. That's your department. Like I almost want to say it should just be you and me. Because even though I'm not sneaky like you, I can get out of there quickly. Right. So it's basically and, like the two of us go in, sneak around, get the stuff. As soon as we get the stuff, I dimension this door. Let's maybe Rowan can cast Pass Without a Trace as well so that we have a bit of yeah. chance. Oh, yeah. I was also going to suggest that. And you can spider with us. Yeah, I was going to say I can spider with you or, you know, bat. I can go as a bat. It's a cave. You might be able to find stuff faster if you're flying around. Yeah. So, how about I cast Pass Without a Trace on you guys. I'll shift into a bat. Hold on, let me make sure that Pass Without a Trace is in concentration. If it is, then this isn't going to work. 
Ugh, it's concentration. I won't be able to be shape. You can always stealth with us. I mean, we're pretty much going to be sticking together at this rate. It's just that in and out with Dimension Door wouldn't work. I can, I, I, can only, I can only get one of you. I can't take I, all of us. If Take a row if there, anything comes to that. I mean, I can always be shape before they catch me and get out that way. Yeah, she's already proven she can get in and out of the cells. So it's actually better if I take you. Sure. Or Yin Yin, unless it's, he it's, decides to stay behind and Yeah, wait. Yin Yin, what do you want to do? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm fine with any plan. I mean, I'm not super sneaky, but I'm fine going in with you guys just in case you get caught. You just want our stuff back. That's <laughs> it. And like a part of me wanted to stay in the cell, but a part of me is like, I really don't want to be in that cell. Like, I'm glad to be free, but I really want the stuff back. Yeah, no, we're getting the stuff back. Okay, so we're at the entrance at this point, essentially-ish. Yeah. Okay. So we're hiding in the so, trees over here. Yeah. So I say let's just cast past it out of trace. Okay. I can go in first since I'm going to be the most stealthy, and then I can recon back using message. Yeah, just make sure you message me because I can message back. Right. Okay. All right. I'm going to cast pass without a trace on everyone, and this lasts for up to an hour. Okay. Okay. So. I want to point out, I want to be super aware, <laughs> and I'm going to start making my way towards the entrance while being super stealthy, keeping an eye out. All right, uh, yeah, you head to the entrance. Nothing there? Not as far as you can tell, no. Uh, I peek my head around the corner and still nothing? Nope. All right, and I keep going and peek my head around this corner. All right, uh, go ahead and perception check. Perception? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you don't even notice as the, as the little gnome girl like sneaks up behind you and like gets up right behind you. It's like, hey, what do you see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, you scared me. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm real quiet. Are you fine following me around? Are you? Do you think you're sneaky enough? Uh, well, I snuck up on you, didn't I? That's a good point. You did. All right, let's keep going then. And so there was nothing around the corner. Nope, nothing that you saw. Um, they've cleared out all the dead bodies. I guess that's the only thing really worth mentioning. But you've, you've been there for a while, so that's pretty obvious. Right. I'm going to go ahead and go this way towards the bar while keeping an eye out. All right. Do I hear any uh, bar sounds? Yeah, you hear some more jovial laughter, but that's really about it. I go near the wall, and I try to listen in on some conversations. All right, give me a perception check. Uh, what specifically are you listening for them to mention? Anything about our gear. And for, and if something about Zongold, I'll take that as well. No, uh, no, they just seem to be talking about their drunken debaucheries. Uh, I'm gonna cast message at Curveus saying, I'm at the bar. They don't seem to be talking about our gear too much. Well, why would they want to talk about our gear? Hey, maybe, I don't know, maybe they'll leak something. I don't think our gear is going to be at the bar. Got it. Moving away from the bar. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, okay. And just from okay. Rowan and Yen Yen's perspective, I'm just like face palming so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it went that well. Oh, he oh, went to, to the info. bar to find our gear. I'm doing recon. <laughs> okay, That's well. There's something Yen Yen would do. <laughs> He is my master, after all, now. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go through the, oh, the only corridor we haven't explored yet and start going making my way through here. Okay. Is, can I fit through this? Why don't you give me a acrobatics check? Where is... Oh, there it is. You get, you get a little stuck. Can I move back? No, a little stuck. Oh, uh -huh. I whispered to my friend. I think I'm stuck. I didn't say totally stuck. I said a little stuck. You can pass through it just hard. Oh, well, okay. So from the spot that I am, can I see anything? Uh, you're probably about there. Kind of able to see a, a door through here. Yeah, you're able to see that door. No one in sight? Nope. 
I push my way through. Give me another acrobatics check. Shit. Nope, you do not. <laughs> I push my way through again. <laughs> it is abundantly clear to you that you're either you're too big or you're just carrying too much gear on you. Am I in arm's reach of my little friend? I mean, she's like right next to you. Even stuck? Yeah, she's like, she's staying close, watching okay. your back. Uh, could you mind pushing me through? You seem to be a bit stuck. Well, I'm not very strong, mister. Body check me. I'm really not that strong, mister. Ah, uh, fine. I look towards this direction, and I missed a step. All right. And I missed a step, step. Like, to here. Yep. She's, she's a little... She, she squeezes through, no problem. Of course. All right, so now there's essentially two doors and a passage? Yeah. Okay, I look through this room right here, like the open room. It's just a open cavern. Nothing in there? Nope. This door where I'm standing at? Yeah. Can I hear anything through it? You cannot. I would like to check for traps. All right, give me that trap checking check. Uh, Give me a dex in constitution. Oh, Saving come throw. on. I use evasion. Sure, <laughs> if you succeed. That 20. Alright. You don't take any damage from the piercers, but they do kind of scratch you a little bit and get the poison into your system, so I'm still going to need the constitution check. But you fail. Okay. Take 29 points of damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, if your hand just kind of like swells up real big, real big, and it hurts real bad. Is the door's not unlock, I assume? No. I tried to unlock it. Yeah, give me an unlock check. Yeah, you hear that oh so satisfying click as the door unlocks. I open it stealthily. <laughs> Roll me a stealth check. Yeah, you opened it super stealth. How exactly did you open it super stealth, though? Like, slowly and as soundless as possible? Alright, give me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take this moment to remind you that almost every door you ran across last session had two traps in them. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, give me a deck save at disadvantage. Oh, Oh no. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> no my god. No, that's a fail. Oh. Yeah. And the little gnome comes out to us and says, I'm sorry, your friend is dead. <laughs> now you take twenty one points of damage as four larger arrows okay. impact your chest. Alright. I'm not out. I enter the room. <laughs> she just comes over and says, like, Mister, Mister, are you okay? Think so? Are, I'm are not you sure done yet. You're wrong? We really want this stuff. <laughs> These guys are professionals, so I'm not surprised that they've got me with their traps. You, you know, mister, I'm, I'm real stealthy. I might have some other skills that would have helped, but, you know, that's neither here nor there now. <laughs> you couldn't mention that at first! Well, you just kind of did the thing real quick, and I didn't really have time to respond. I'm sorry. <sighs> Sitting outside... Curvace, you should really ask him how it's going right now. So, um, haven't heard from you in a while. Are you still alive? Because I ran to some traps and I'm hurt now. Uh, we're going to keep pushing, though, because apparently our little friend here has, uh, hun has hidden skills that she forgot to mention. Oh, did you forget Wait, to ask? I didn't, I didn't forget to mention you. Just she can't, I just want to point out she cannot hear that message. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yes, but I can still I can still say, did you forget to ask? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. So maybe you should let her take over. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to ask her, can you look inside, see if, uh, see if we can find anything? Yeah. She stealthily and carefully jumps in, looks down the hallway. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I see like a big box. And a bunch of other boxes on top of it, and there's some more boxes. So storage? I mean, it looks like it. Oh, is Aquilio still out here somewhere? Yeah, your horses should be out there. I mean, yeah. it, it's only been two days. 
I mean, I'm sure he can survive on his own, too. It's pretty right. badass. Isn't he a theatrical horse? He is a uh, hoary steed. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually had it bookmarked so I can get through the stats. So, while we're waiting... I'll look at a potion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Nope. <laughs> well, it was at normal because I figured I didn't have time. I didn't know the for advantage. No, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, that's why I did it at normal. So, uh, Mister, what do you want to do? Do you have any hidden skills to try and see if you can find our items? Oh, there's boxes over there. Probably just in the boxes. Oh wait, um, we probably shouldn't go to the boxes. I'm gonna just, just give me a second. I'm gonna okay. Make some more traps. No, there's definitely traps. Oh yeah. Of course. 100%. She like There's... kneels down on the ground and like picks her finger on a stone and just like make it, makes a line of blood to, on the stone. She's like, "This is something right here. Just give me a hook," and she jumps over it. Okay. And then she like marks on the other side where it is. All right, don't don't walk past the blood. You gotta jump over it. Got it. And I, I take a running jump if I can, and then I. It's jump a five foot it. jump. Okay, I jump over it. <laughs> All right. Let me. Um. I mean, these boxes are probably trapped because I think they have stuff in them. Oh yeah, these boxes are definitely trapped. Um, they took all of my stuff. Do you have, do you have like a, a lockpick, mister? I do, actually. Cool. Um, can I have it? Yes. Please to be my guest, and I hand her my lockpicks. Okay, thank. And she like walks over to the stone, kind of pushes something aside. Okay. Perfect. Let's open it then, and hopefully our shit's in there. Okay. She walks over to like a box that like has a backpack in it, and she just takes the backpack out and puts it on her back. Hey, I'm good to go. Okay. Did you find our stuff, though? No, it's in one of those boxes, I think. Okay. I, mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be. My stuff was in this box. Okay, so let's see if we can open the other boxes. Did you want to open them, or do you want me to do it? No, I, th I think they're pretty good. Oh, they're good? Yeah. Okay, I straight up open it. And the trap. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, another trap. Ah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you open a couple of boxes and you find all of you guys' stuff eventually. It takes uh, like thirty seconds probably. Okay. Uh, let's start making our way back then. Okay. Yeah, let's do uh, it. I make sure to jump over the blood. Boop, boop. Stealthily walk out this way, and as soon as I reach that point where I know I communicated the last time, yeah, I uh, cast message and say we have our stuff. We're making our way out. Okay. Be careful. Okay, and then I try to push through here. Not with all of that gear, you're not. Misty step. <laughs> just yeah, just with all that gear, it's just a straight up no on that one. Yeah. <laughs> right, so go she just goes over here. She like she like walks down here. He you found see her like kneeling. He found our stuff. Yes. You see her kneeling down. She's like putting something in the ground. She's like, okay. If they come down here, we'll be good. Let's go. What is that exactly? Uh, make me an investigation check on it. I'm not sure, just straight up asking her. I was, but I'll do the investigation okay. either way. Okay. Try to figure it out. Oh. That is a trap. Oh. As far as you can tell, there's a bit where it might emit some smoke and then launch a bunch of darts out. Oh, nice. Okay, Mrs. Know her stuff about robes. I'm not a, I'm not a robe per se. I'm just a really sneaky engineer. Oh, well then. Hi, uh, we're back. We got our stuff, guys. Okay, oh, grab our stuff. We grab our stuff. I look, I look bloody all over. Oh, he's real bad off. His, uh, hands, his hands still puffy and, like, real puffy. It's, like, three times the size. I look at her. Is she untouched? <laughs> oh, yeah. I look at her. It's like, thank you for doing everything he can't. <laughs> well, he, he got us half the way there. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Graven. He, he did a real good job. Thank you. And, like, she takes something out of her bag and gives it to you. To me? Yep. Uh, what is it? It, it helps you pick locks. But is, so a better lockpick set? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're not going to eat them? I have a couple. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'll take them. Okay, um... She, like, walks over to you, bro, and he gives you a hug. I kind of pat her on the back. All right, I'm out. Thanks for the Good help. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. 
<laughs> she just leaves. All right. Now what? Now we go back in there and fight him. Oh hell no! no. no <laughs> I immediately, no. I immediately just no, one eighty and I just walk. <laughs> well, we know <laughs> we're going back on Zongle's trail, and we have no idea where to start. Yeah. I'm just kind of start wrapping my hand wraps up and start yeah. walking behind him, just kind of laughing to myself. We're just we're just gonna keep um... walking and. Oh shit! Fuck yeah! Okay, cool. What? I was rolling oh. to see if she heard you say his name, and she definitely did. Oh. She rolled a nat 20 on that perception check. Oh. I'm gonna walk up behind Grave and go, hey, you said we were out, you'd take a drink. She's, so as she's walking away, she hears you mention Zongo. She's like, wait, what, what'd you say? We were looking for a prisoner named Zongold. Um, I heard the name. What does, what does he look like? I look don't know. Raven. <laughs> yeah, he just looks at Graven. Oh, well, something like you. Okay, um, no, yeah, uh, I, I do remember. Um, they were talking about him. He, he was there before I got there. You and, remember? Um, some scary doctor guy came over. Um, let's see what else. Uh, he did some stuff. Not great. Real bad. Then he, uh, then he. Not uh, great. Real bad. Real bad. The real um, bad. In they the did bad stuff things. to him. Well, not just him. Oh. Kind of like all of us, I guess. Um, and then, and then, like he just left one day. Like on his own, escape, or did someone uh, come get him? I, I don't know. Um, I think it was when I was sleeping, and the guards came over and they're like, "Hey," they're kind of talking among themselves, like, "Hey, his uncle's gone," and the other guy's like, "Yeah, I know it happened yesterday." And the the guy, other guy's like, "Yeah, he was supposed to leave." Well, something like that. He was supposed to leave. Supposed to leave? Okay, why do I have a feeling that the people we just escaped from are also not of good intent? They're just like a rival faction? I mean, I'm not, I would not be surprised. Do you remember anything about this doctor guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh, really likes, like, putting machines in people. Hmm. Uh, he, he didn't do anything to me because I was forced to help him create stuff. But, you know. Alright, so, you want to help us find Zongold? I don't, I don't really know where he went. I'm not sure how I can do that. Well, gives us more information. Yenyan, your walking stick. Yeah? Can it find Zongold again? Uh, it more leads me to things that I know. I don't know if it'll lead me to people. I'll think about it. Because Zong... you don't know, know where Zongold is, it won't work. I don't think so. I'll put it, it leads you to places, from what yeah. you remember, the person telling you. Yeah, it, it'll lead me to a specific place, so if we knew where Zongold went, I could take us there, but it won't take me to a specific person. And you wouldn't happen to have any more of that potion... I uh, pull out the empty bottle. Nope. So we're back where we left off. I know where I can get more potions. Yeah, so do I, but we don't have time to go all the way back to get some more. Does Juniper do delivery? <laughs> <laughs> it's not delivery, it's Juniper. <laughs> Like a, a little dragon just flies over, drops a crate of potions. <laughs> dragon drone. I'm sure Juniper is working on that right now. Just a little bit of an extra fee. Well, we also have that tracker who's looking after Zongold, so they would contact us when they found anything. That's true. Well, I forgot about that. Where do we oh, go now? Um, I, I do remember his name, though. The, the doctor? doctor? Yeah. What's his name? Doctor Barnard. He, he was he was a gnome like me. I don't know if I can really say he's a gnome anymore, but you know. He was. He's like part robot. A good bit. He had me fix some things for him. Any idea where he might have come from or gone to? Never mentioned. I don't know. He didn't allow me to talk when I was fixing him, except to ask very specific questions. Wait, you were fixing him? I was kind of forced to. 
you know, like sort of, it's, it's like tries to mock his, mock his voice. If you don't fix me, I'll kill your entire family, sort of thing, you know. Yeah. Where's your family? Oh, they're they're actually all dead. But you know, he meant like the cellmates because we'd gone pretty close. And I didn't really want to be alone. And the cellmates are gone. <laughs> well, they, you know, they Everyone... have lives. They have lives to get back to. Besides, I know where they live. We'll probably like go get some coffee or something at some point. Well, where would someone who works on robots or turns people into them go? Actually, to, to everybody in the party. Do you think Juniper would know this doctor, seeing as how you know experiments? There's times I'm not sure Juniper knows who he is. I don't know if I'll know who the doctor is. Well, wait a minute. What about our friend who had the automaton? Oh, that's. Yeah, me. But she lived in a secluded village, though. I mean, yeah, maybe Shooter will know where to go. I know that's not his real name. I say, I'm pretty sure that was not his name. Uh, he seemed okay. I'm just throwing out ideas. I don't know if this is valid or not. Our trail for Zongold has gone cold, basically. Because this was the last place he was at that we knew of. He's not there. He has gone without a trace. And, like, the only people that might know are in there. And as soon as we try to talk to them right now, they will lock our asses back up again. This is our literal only place of information, though. It's the only one we know we can get information at. But, I mean, yes, go but back the, to the Cedar but... and Empire, and we could ask around. That's a big city. I mean, if this is a doctor who works specifically with turning people into robots, then, uh -huh. I mean, someone's bound to know something eventually. What? Okay, so... He can't only work here. Could we call Juniper on the phone stone and ask him a favor? I don't see why not. We could, but we might want to wait until day, because I think it's nighttime right now. Probably. So I, my, I suggest that we just travel away from here, rest for the night, and then call him first thing in the morning. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, and then I look to our friend whose name i still forget and then i say thank you thanks a lot for the information it means it's a lot all. you can call her al al <laughs> i said not to call me al rowan just kind of looks at you scoldingly her name uh, is all i'll say al but trying to pronounce it all but clearly cannot pronounce it correctly okay i guess i'm okay with that sorry and i just kind of like a whisper aside those two are the idiots, if you haven't figured that out. Uh, since when am I an idiot? <laughs> since you couldn't pronounce someone's name. I'm sorry, I thought you said I was one of the more smarter people of the group last time. We're smarter. <laughs> you apparently got demoted. <laughs> he likes wow. to say that, but they would have never even known to come here. I'm obviously the genius here. I just end it with looking at Kervais and, wow, the nerves on you. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and I'm just like shrugging. Well, I guess this we can end here then. This is a pretty good let off point. <laughs> it's true.